Hello my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Let's see here. Power of number seven, number eight. I wonder if we'll get a number nine. Eleven. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're going to the number twenty-six. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. Others of you are dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could also be dealing with our astrological next door neighbor, Libra. You could also be dealing with another Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. You might be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. You might be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January possibly Aquarius or Pisces, born in the month of February. Strong Aquarius energy coming in again through the number 17, as well as more Cancerian energy through the number 18. Gemini energy coming back up through the number 1, along with Aries and Virgo. Virgo again once more through the power of number 1. Scorpio and Aries energy coming in again through the number 16. You could be dealing with one of the fixed signs of the zodiac. Again, that would include Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and possibly, again, another Scorpio. You could have been born in 1961, 1962, 1967, or 1968. You might have been born in 1971, 1972, 1976, or 1978. You could have been born in 1981, 1982, 1986, and or possibly 1987. So that's what's going on in the power of the numbers right now. But either way, go into the power of number 26 for the beautiful star sign to Scorpio. Messages from your specific person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's person unto them? Show me what's up. Oof. It's not like we haven't seen this energy before. Oh boy, judgment call. They're in the hot seat right now. They have judgment on them. Coming back to revitalize a connection. Mm hmm. Could be about begging for forgiveness. They're in the hot seat. Could be dealing with another Scorpio more specifically. They're in thinking mode right now, trying to gain a clearer perspective. You know what I'm feeling here, Scorpio, is that I feel you forewarned them. You forewarned them about some things. And now it's sitting with them. They're thinking about something that you said, or if you threw a judgment call on this person, they're thinking about your words. 
And I also feel like they're thinking about what is their approach going to be? We got the sign of Pisces coming in through the power of number 12. However, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. They've got a lot on their mind right now. Queen of Swords. Okay, a couple variable messages that I got going on. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini more specifically. You may find out through the grapevine, Scorpio, that your person got their karma. The Queen of Swords can represent somebody who is an ex or they could be divorced or widowed. But in regards to this, I feel like this was you in the past. You threw a judgment call on your person, hoping that what you were going to say to them was going to wake them up to the truth, okay? When they rejected your truth, when they rejected the facts, okay, that's when they started to get the karma. When they walked away from you or their actions gave you no choice but to walk away from them, the doorway to the pathway of karma opened up for them, okay? So there is a little bit of an ego going on here with uh, the Queen of Swords, you know, a little bit of sense of satisfaction a bit um, when you find out that this person is probably not dealing with the third party or things are going down or things are not working out for them. Okay, that's one thing. The other part of it is your person could also be making a judgment call on this person that they've been dealing with or karmic third party situation is making a judgment call on them, which is putting them into the hangman mode. So it can go either way. All right. So a couple variable messages from that. This person walked away from you. They were doing the walk of shame. Bottom of the deck, the page of wands. This person was a player. Bottom line. They didn't have the courage and the strength to own up to their responsibilities. A lot of you guys know this. There's that power of number eight. Number eight came in on the second roll of the dice. Again, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Got fire sign activity going on. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <sighs> They're like a little kid trapped in a grown person's body. That's how they were in the past with you. There was a lot of immaturity, immature communication. The Eight of Swords. It's like they're, they're waiting to be rescued out of the situation, but you're not the one that's supposed to rescue them. But they're getting out of something here. They're getting out of something with the karmic third party because either they had to make the judgment call or the kar karmic third party's getting ready uh, to leave them. Bottom of the deck, Leo energy coming in on the bottom of the deck with the sun card. Okay. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone or he's gone. Things are not working out for them. You know, they're really living a lie because they keep showing me social media platforms. They're really lying about their life on social media. They're putting up a good front, you guys. A lot of them are. Yeah, a lot of them could be masking over all of these emotions with booze, alcohol, uh, any form of addictions. Just something of overindulgence I'm picking up with this Knight of Cups. They're masking over their emotions. because they know you were right yeah Whoop. wow ten of cups flying out of my hands that over the rainbow moment you could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio more specifically why should they feel so stuck you know they thought the grass was greener 
They thought it was all lollipops and roses over there, you know, skipping and frolicking through their, quote unquote, their bliss. But why are they in a hanged man position thinking that they got their over the rainbow moment? No, they didn't because they, judgment. A lot of them got the world card in reverse, but you know what? It doesn't matter because judgments here, even if this would have came up in the upright, it doesn't matter. They were in a karmic situation. And when this person came into your life, they had karmic energy on them. So a lot of them still haven't learned their lessons yet, but it's going to hit them up royally. There could be children involved. Maybe this person hasn't been living up to their commitment with child support payments. There could be baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, message of concern. Yeah, they're going to be reaching out. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of courage for them to reach out and like say, hey, you know what? You were right. They hate it. They, you know, this is where this person's ego at, where their ego is at too. They hate to lose you guys. They hate to lose. This is what spirit's trying to teach them a lesson about their ego. They hate to lose. Because then it makes them feel foolish. I get it. But see, the measure of a person, if we can admit our faults, you know, if we are justified and, you know... When we know that we're in the wrong, but you have enough empathy and compassion to admit your faults and also to be able to recognize the faults. This person has had a hard time recognizing their faults. That's why they're in the hot seat. They're in the hot seat. Because they knew exactly what they were doing. That's their ego. That was their ego. They're still attracted to you. Of course they are. You're Scorpio. One of the hottest signs of the Zodiac. You know that. Mm -hmm. I think they're wondering if you're still attracted to them, to be honest. They know that they still have chemistry with you, but chemistry is not enough to build a relationship. Consistency is what builds a relationship and honesty and integrity. But yeah, there were fireworks between the two of you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. Spirit's warning them. And you know what, you guys, at one point in time, Spirit was trying to forewarn you about this person's actions. And a lot of you didn't want to believe what they were doing. They made you second guess yourself. They could have been gaslighting you, all of that stuff. You know, it's just forgive yourself for not paying attention to the signs and synchronicities. Okay. But this person's also, because they're in the hot seat, it says the signs are, signs are cautioning you. Yeah, Spirit's trying to forewarn this person to get the hell out of that other connection. Or vice versa. You know, here's the thing about the spirits, you guys. The spirits will take the path of least resistance. Thank you. Thank you, trusted ancestors. I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. Well, they need to own up to the responsibilities. There needs to be a death to the ego. I 
I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. See, I feel like they're battling their ego right now because it's challenging them to step up to the plate. It's challenging them to step up to the plate because they know that the heat is on. Don't think it's been all lollipops and roses for them because it, it hasn't. They, they just put up a good fake facade on social media for a lot of them. So, yeah. And <laughs> their friends, their family members, they don't know the difference. They don't know what a karmic relationship is. They don't understand twin flame journeys. And they don't even understand that there are different levels of soulmates. Okay. Their friends are clueless. Their family are clueless. And these friends and family members, I get it. It's not to be a trigger to you guys. It's just they, they're supporting a couple or your person with that third party blindsidedly. They're not in their higher self. And I do feel that there might be some particular friends or family members that feel that your person should be back with you, but they don't say anything. They don't say anything. But this person has a lot to think about. Something you said is affecting them. Trusted ancestors, what is it about what Scorpio might have said? Since there are numerous things that Scorpio could have said to this person, what would be an overall general collective? What was it about? Well, you were forewarning them. You were forewarning them about whatever it is that they were getting involved with, that it was going to cause problems. As a general collective message here. You told them whoever they were getting involved with or what you told them to like be conscientious of, if it was a friend, if it's a family member, if it's, you know, things that they were doing, you forewarned them. And they got conflict. What else could a Scorpio forewarn them about? That they were might have been being controlled and manipulated. False illusionary energy. Magician. You could have told this person that they were a player. King of Wands. Got a lot of fire sign activity. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Virgo. Aries energy coming in through the Magician. You told them, you told them to step up to the plate. Shape up or ship out. It was about commitment. Yeah, working on things. Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. That's just some of the messages. That's not all. There was probably numerous things that you guys said to this person, but you weren't taking any BS, Scorpio. I mean, I think you were trying to be as flexible with this person as possible, and I do feel that you were, like, over and over again forgiving this person. But when your person started to shift, a lot of you guys were like, oh, if that's how you want to be, if okay, this is how you want to act. Now you all of a sudden just want to give up this relationship. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Arrivederci. Bye. Go. A lot of you were like that because you weren't going to put up with it. And a lot of you guys were getting some signs and synchronicities that you weren't paying attention to. You know, just forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for not seeing the signs and synchronicities at that moment in time. Because you were following your heart. That's what you were doing. You were following your heart. This person, obviously, yeah, they're in the hot seat right now, Scorpio. Bottom line, in a, in a deep-seated reflection. 
and also how they're going to reach out. We had that message of concern. Mm -hmm. So my awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. I am running a summer reading special for questions for $25. So if you'd like to get on my recording schedule ASAP and I can get to work on your personal reading, again, bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And in the meantime, Scorpio, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.